Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. This one's very special because this is my 2000th subscriber video. And I thought what better way to celebrate 2000 subscribers but to show my subscribers one of the most beautiful places on the planet. So here you go. By the time this video goes live on Wednesday, August 3rd, I should have surpassed 2,000 subscriptions, and that deserves a celebration. What better way to celebrate than to give away a pen? I also wanted to celebrate by opening this video with that breathtaking panorama of Waterton Lakes at 6 a.m. I'm going to post some of the photos I shot while at Waterton Lakes, Alberta, and my wife and I were celebrating our 33rd wedding anniversary last week. So I'm going to show some photos while I talk so you don't have to simply watch my hands. We were very careful with our social distancing and mask wearing while we were at Waterton Lakes and staying at the beautiful Prince of Wales Hotel. I'm sorry to say a lot of others were not so concerned about other people. We had to curtail many of our planned activities due to crowds of unmasked people ignoring the rules and guidelines about social distancing. We were going to look into the shops in the village and take a two-hour cruise of the Waterton Lake, but after five minutes of seeing the unmasked crowds, we gave up on the SS Minnow. We had a wonderful time nonetheless, and I got some excellent photo opportunities. The loud and ignorant crowds of tourists don't seem to like to rise before the sun, so I did, and I had the vista almost to myself. The hotel was built in 1927 and actually opened 93 years ago to the day of our anniversary stay. They celebrated by putting up a Christmas tree and playing Bing Crosby Christmas carols on the Muzak. I wasn't so impressed. The prime rib was good though. But I didn't want to just celebrate my 2000 subscriptions with scenery. I wanted to give back something to you, my subscribers, for your support of my channel and your generosity and fellowship in the comments. So I wanted to give away a pen. Tom Schultz won my Pen BBS 491 Corderite pen in the last giveaway. He should probably have that pen in his hands by now. That was so much fun, we need to do that again. I made a list of pens for which I had more than one. Of course, I have multiples of a number of pen BBS models, but out of my cold, dead hands. I don't love you guys that much. My eye settled on two pens that impressed me, but I probably won't be using that often, at least not two of them. These are my Jinhao 51As. These are the non-hooded versions with the number five nibs. And I bought one in this um, amber sunset kind of color and one in what I'll call Niangao. I had to eeny, meeny, miny, mo these pens and the one to go on the mo is the Niangao. Did you see what I did there? This is the one on which I swapped the nib, the Jinhao nib, for a Delike. There it is. 
and I'll link that NibSwap video in the description. The NibSwap was very successful and this pen writes beautifully. In fact, I've had it sitting full of ink on my shelf since the review at least a couple of months ago, and it wrote the first time, no issues. I wrote this entire video script with this pen and it's wonderful. I will tell you how to win this pen in a moment, but first I want to tell you a few newsy things. The first is, I'm officially launching my Wix website, and I've called it Ink Quiring Minds. The website will mirror my YouTube reviews for those of you who'd rather read my dad jokes than listen to them. I will put up pen photos, measurements, writing samples, and other support information on the website, and put the link to the website in every YouTube video description. The second thing I wanted to mention was an experiment I'm undertaking with my son, who is an avid 3D printmaker. He made these little pen stands for me with his 3D printer, and I painted. My pen friend Janice gifted me a small silicone rubber ring called an Ink Cozy that stabilizes those small 5-ounce plastic squeeze bottles that artists love and crafters love so much, keeping them from being weebles and falling all over your desk. I thought to myself, this would be good if it would fit a Robert Oster 50 milliliter ink bottle, because it's uh, fairly unstable when you're trying to fill your pen with ink. They're taller than they are wide. And then I also thought to myself, well, what about our ink samples? Trying to ink your pen with these weebles you end up with an inky mess. So my son and I have been making some test designs and prints for these ideas. I'm hoping to get a few printed prototypes together and demonstrate in a future video. I'm going to call them the Ink Buddy. One, because it is for ink, and two, it's Canadian, buddy. Look, guy, we have to stay strong. If you don't stand with your fellow Canadians, then you are a rat. Don't call me a rat, buddy. I'm not your buddy, friend. He's not your friend, guy. I'm not your guy, buddy. He's not your buddy, friend. I'm not your friend, guy. Let's give it up, guy. Don't call me your guy. I am not your guy, friend. I'm not your friend, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. The Ink Buddy by Inquiring Minds. I like it. I like it! In fact, he just dropped off yesterday one of the designs I put together for an Ink Buddy. And there it says, Ink Buddy right there, Ink Buddy, and it fits an ink file. And we're going to try them in different ways. Some are going to be tighter than others. And I'm going to make one probably this week that will fit a Robert Oster bottle of ink. In addition to that, I thought, well, why not go ahead and design a tray for my ink vials. And so this is my prototype of an ink buddy tray. It holds nine vials of ink. And again, this is just the prototype. So some of these are loose in here. Uh, some of them will go down a little bit further and some of them get stuck. So uh, this is a very coarse print. And so we're going to do a refinement of this and work it out uh, to see how well this might function. Okay, enough blathering. On to the giveaway. Welcome back to those of you that skipped the blathering. Welcome back. To win this very pen, which I hold in my hand, simply be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment below. Any comment will do, as long as I don't take offense to it, of course. But I will give you a topic to discuss. Would you find a use for an ink buddy? Or is there something else on your desk that requires stabilization other than your secretary? All right, help me in with this. Help me in with this. Help me in with this. Think of your secretary. Ah, yeah, that was a very good suggestion. Yes, Discuss. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Instead of waiting a full week to select a winning comment, and since the comments tend to peter out after 48 hours anyway, I will select a winning comment at random 48 hours from the posting of this video. So, you have 48 hours with which to post your pithy submission. And your name is? I'm Thor. You're Thor? Well, it hurts. 
Once again, this whole broadcast has been brought to you by Sam. After I've selected a winner, I will post the handle of the winner and the comment in the comment section of this video. Not some future video, this one right here, down below. Look down. Look way down. Look up. Way up. And I'll call Rusty. Yes, there. I will also, for redundancy's sake, post the winner's handle and comment on my community tab. You can find my community tab by going to my YouTube channel homepage and clicking the word community, rocket science. The winner will have another 48 hours in which to contact me at my email address, djrathbun at gmail.com, which is also listed in the comment section below and in the About tab of my YouTube channel homepage. Let me know what your address is and I will send your prize out to you. I reserve the right to refuse to ship to locations in the world that are currently mail challenged. And no, I won't pay $50 to ship a $10 pen around the world. Why? Because I'm sane, that's why. Once again, thank you all for your support. And remember, these are just pens, folks. Nothing to get your knickers in a twist about. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever new videos are posted. Hell, if you don't like this video, by all means, give it your Roman Emperor thumbs down. Because YouTube can't tell the difference anyway, and your thumbs down becomes an up yours. Principal Skinner? Up yours, children. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.